Hey, I'm Andy Rebecca with Duelist 2, and we're gonna do the weekly challenge. I'm gonna see Song High, see Vitruvian, two of our healers. That's not good. <laughs> we do have four of these golden metallurgists. It says your golems cost one less to play. There are three mana tiles available. We start out with nine mana, so we can get possibility of 12. Opponents at 15 health, but. There's a shield oracle right here and it says when the ally in front of this, which is the general, would take damage, this takes damage instead, so we might have to do 20. But we do have this boulder breacher, the 7-7 seven, seven opening gamut deal 3 damage to other allied golems and all units nearby them. So I wonder if it stacks, so if we put one golem here, one golem here, another golem here, Will it do 9 damage, so to speak? Anyways, this has... Uh, we also have Mistwalking, teleport your general up to 2 spaces. We have Nebula, the uh, 4-7 golem. This has air or has airdrop, and this has rush if you control another golem. We also have a world core golem. This costs one less for each enemy minion and one more for each allied minion. So I assume we're going to play this at the end. And we have two inner focuses. So... I don't know what we're going to use the inner focus for. But... I assume we're going to play everything. But the problem is, oh, the opponent also has X played, which says you want to general damage an enemy, set that enemy's attack to one until your next turn. So maybe we attack with the nebula. This turns into a one seven. And then we inner focus it twice, maybe. So maybe we can have six damage from this. So we have six, twelve. That'll be eighteen, and then. 3 times 4, so we'll have 30 damage, technically. So we have 15, 20, 25, so we have... So I guess we have enough to do everything. And I assume we're gonna do everything. Hmm. So maybe... We play the nebula first since it has airdrop. And then we can attack since it has rush. And this will become a 1 2, which we can inner focus, like so. We'll attack the shield oracle. So this is now a 1 1. Now we can save it for the boulder breacher. I think that's the right play instead of inner focus. I mean, I guess we can inner focus it and move up. We can also inner focus it to grab this mana time. I don't think that's the right play. So let's grab this mana first. We're at seven. So let's see. So this costs one less for each enemy minion and one more for each allied minion. So we have five. Hmm. So I, I assume with mist walking, teleport general to two space, so we attack the enemy? Hmm. So we'll see, we'll move, we'll move these into position first. Like so. We'll grab this mana. We will, I mean, we'll just move this here as well. So deal three damage to other allies and all units nearby them. So we can play the bold Breacher here maybe, see how it works. If I'm off by one just because of the one damage, we'll, we'll, we'll see, then we can just restart this. Okay, this is a 7-1, so now the World Core Golem costs 9. I mean, technically, uh, I don't know, 
<laughs> Let's see, maybe... Maybe I had it right in the first place, it's just... Maybe... Hmm. So I, I assume we have to use both interfocuses, but... And also the mist walking as well. Maybe we play the world core golem... First? So we can... Uh, let's see... It doesn't have haste, so... We'll, play, we'll move our stuff here, we'll move the world core golem onto the mana spring, so we'll have four instead of three. We'll grab the mana... And move everything in position. Because if it deals three damage to all other golems, this is just dead anyways. So we'll move that there. So maybe for Huh. So I was thinking we attack the general with the nebula. We can see, we can try it. So we'll, it has rush, so we'll attack the general. So it becomes a one, two. But then if I, if I leave this, then I can, I can reactivate it and move it so it can deal, move upwards maybe? I think that might work. So let's do the boulder breacher here. See how it goes. Okay, so that didn't really work. We're at eight, the opponent's at 13. And then if we teleport, we can only do two. So the the damage is, the, I mean the Amara healer's dying wish adds on afterwards. I mean, it is a dying wish, so. That is tricky. Maybe we use... Hmm. Because I, I feel like we need to drop the World Core Golem somewhere, right? Can we move this here? Actually... Move this here? Inner focus this, move this down to grab. Oh no, 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 I, I messed up. <laughs> I messed up. So, what do we need the world? We, maybe we need the world core. Hmm. Where, where, where would I play it? So, let's try the nebula first. I'm gonna attack the general. That inner focus, and one more for each alien minion, one less for each. So maybe we have to play the war core now. So maybe we'll do it here, and we'll kill the shield oracle. Move this over. Move this over. So we're at one. Move this here. Then move this here. I feel like I'm, I'm probably doing this wrong. <laughs> well, maybe... I don't know how that worked. <laughs> I, I honestly didn't think that was gonna work, but... Let, I mean, let's do that again. <laughs> let's do that again, so... I guess this is the solution. I'm, I'm not quite sure because stacking triggers and whatnot, but what I did first was play the nebula here. And then since it has rush, since we control the golems, we'll attack the general. And since it has a hex blade, this becomes a one, two instead of a four. So we, we can't interfocus it, which we'll do. And then we will kill the shield oracle. Oh no! Oh, I messed up! I messed up! I messed up! 
uh, replicate the solution. So first we'll play Nebula, then we'll attack the general, like so. So we are at six, and then we need seven to play this World Core Golem. We'll move our general over here, and then we'll play the World Core Golem down here. So now we have zero mana, but we can't enter focus because it does cost zero. Then we'll attack the shield oracle, like so. So it doesn't, so the opponent general doesn't benefit from the, from that minion anymore. And then now we'll move our golems over. We'll move those two golems so it's touching the diagonals for the enemy general. We'll move this golem metallurgist over one because we don't want to move it over because then it will be provoked by the Amara healer. They will interfocus that one. And then we'll move that down to the last mana orb. So we'll have two, we have enough to play the Boulder Breacher. And then we'll move the gold metallurgist over here. And then we'll play the Boulder Breacher in the last spot next to the enemy general. All right, so that is how you solve it. <laughs> I'm still, like, I'm, I'm still quite lost a little bit of how that happened. So, I'm, I'm gonna do this just one more time just for my sake. So we play the Nebula. So, I mean, I guess it doesn't matter if you attack first, so we can just, we can just play the World Core Golem here. We'll attack. This is a 1-2. We'll attack this, so that gets, that's gone. So then, this is the st how it looks like right before we win. So the enemy is at 15. We have an Amara healer here that will also die, giving the enemy general 5 health as well. So we play Boulder Breacher here, it will deal 3 damage to all, to all other allied golems and all units nearby them. So we have this general here that will take 5 sources of three which will be 15 so maybe so maybe it's because the enemy general gets a zero first before the healing happens and the only reason why it didn't work the first time i did it was that the enemy general didn't hit zero first and then it got healed so let's see if that would work if we didn't bring this golden miller just over. So we'll just do the same thing we've done before. Inner focus this, attack that. Move this over. Then we'll move this here. We'll inner focus. So the mist walking was kind of a red herring. So we'll move this down here. And we'll play the bullet reacher here. We'll let okay, so we didn't really need to move this gold medal or just silver so yeah i i is this something i learned or was this something i knew i, I don't remember, really remember so if you bring the enemy general enemy general down to zero and then after like the and at the same time you kill stuff with dying wish like the amara healer which will heal your general i guess the death trigger for the enemy general and the game loss will happen first before the dying wish of the heals because I, I i guess you can't heal when it's completely dead so yeah i mean that's how you solve it then yeah pretty interesting stuff i just happened to got it by happenstance so yeah anyways hope you enjoyed it until next time thank you for watching and have a nice day